welcome to Tea Time with me, Chaiti Narula. We're at Eagleton right here on the outskirts of Bangalore today, and taking center stage on the show is the hospitality sector with Virendra Razdan of ITC Winsamana, Bangalore. On the show this week, we have Virendra Razdan, GM ITC Windsor, Bengaluru. We are going to promote more of heritage tourism. Right. Uh, that's what the Bangalore is known for. Right. And heritage temple. Uh, tourism, sure. Uh, the focus will be more in that direction. And in news, Henrik Stenson wins the DP Tour Championship title at the European Tour season-ending event. And Kiwi team Lydia Ko wins the Tour Championship season crown. Azdan, welcome to Tea Time and what a beautiful tea off that is. Hi, Chaiti. Hi. So, how long have you been playing golf? That's one of the most wonderful tea offs I've seen. Yeah, almost now 10 years. Yeah. Right. And you play a lot of corporate uh, tournaments as well, Pan India. Yes, uh, especially uh, the tournaments which are being sponsored by our company ITC. So, okay. I make it a point that I represent the brand there. Right. And I have been grown up next to the golf course. so. Did not get a chance to play at that point. Which time. golf course have you grown up next to? In Srinagar, in Kashmir. Oh, so, lovely. Which used to be the golfing paradise one time. It right. still is, but right. I have not been playing there. And now, of course, you're heading ITC Windsor Manor. And Bangalore is another biggest golf city in the country after Delhi, of course. I would say one of the finest. The best part about really? this city is that you can play uh, 12 months a year golf. It does not get hot <laughs> like other cities. So that way is a great place. And a lot of... Uh, People from other parts of the country as well as outside country travel to Bangalore just for golf. All right, so you know now let's come back to ITC Windsor Manor, the property that you're heading right now. It's got a great neoclassical feel to it. I mean, has a bit of a colonial hangover at the same uh, time. Yes. Great cutting it, uh, technology, very up to date. How do you build this property to what it is today? Actually, the hotel was designed in 70s and by the time it came into operation, it was 1982. Mm -hmm. And that point of time, the design uh, was the hotel was built, keeping in view the colonial architecture of Bangalore. Right. So we always say that uh, ITC Windsor connects colonial past of Bangalore with the current Bangaluru. Right. Because uh, now it's a very high-tech city, and uh, most of the IT work of the world gets outsourced out of Bangalore. So right. I would say uh, aptly, uh, ITC Windsor connects. Bangalore with Bangalore. Bangalore. Very aptly put, in fact. Uh, now, you know, there was a report by Kushman and Wakefield very recently that said that we're going to see an uptick in hotel rooms in the hospitality sector by 65, they're about or percent, and they are about to add about 52,000, they're about hotel rooms by 2017, according to that estimate. Is that in line with your estimation as well, or do you think by and somewhere large, it's an uh, overestimate? Uh, actually, Cushman and Wakefield has also picked up uh, inventory, which is going to be added in tier two and tier three cities. Right. So because uh, you did not see much of branded hotels in these places, mm -hmm. that's where the growth is coming right. from. But uh, all the metros, um, no doubt, have got provision for both. Mm -hmm. I would say budget hotels as well as uh, luxury hotels. Right. Uh, but the cost of building hotels in these cities is so high that inventory, you are going to add only 9 to 10 percent of inventory year on year. Correct. Whereas the major chunk of the growth will come from tier 2 and tier 3 cities. Uh, so that's where the uh, market is really, the catchment area really in the market oh, at yes. the moment. Oh, yes. The, as you see that the whole country is moving to the tier 2, tier 3 cities because right. uh, all the metros are getting, uh, I won't say jammed, but the cost of living in these places are very high. Right. So, Mr. Razdan, do you think that India is an attractive market at the moment for business and leisure travel both? Leisure, yes, we have uh, certain sectors which are uh, 
quite apt for the leisure market, especially right. the Golden Triangle, down south Kerala, Goa. Right. But all the metros are designed, except Delhi at this point of time, more for business travel. Mm -hmm. And uh, but governments, I can talk on behalf of the Karnataka government. Right. Uh, government is taking measures where uh, uh, tourism, leisure built tourism can be promoted, uh, especially to all the foreigners as well as to the Indian traveler. Right. Uh, because inflow of foreigners into Bangalore is a lot and a uh, lot of international tourists after two days do not know what to do in Bangalore. Hmm. So the government is taking measures to build the leisure circuit. And for tourism Bangalore. as well, something yes. yeah. that is given a push the, to. The, where we are going to promote more of heritage tourism. Right. Uh, that's what the Bangalore is known for. Right. And heritage temple. Uh, tourism, sure. uh, the focus will be more in that direction. Well, would you see uh, demand in the hospitality sector picking up in the years to come now? I mean, over the past two, three years, we've seen a bit of a subdued growth. We've also seen a lot of delay in projects as well as far as the hospitality sector is concerned. On the back of bettering uh, or rather better global economic conditions, you see an uptick in demand now? Uh, I can just say for the last few months, um, we have seen si signs of revival. Okay. But uh, we have not revived. We are not at the same levels where the hotels used to be in 2008, 2009 or 2006, 2007 right. when the Bang Bangalore market, you could not get the rooms. Right. What has happened that for the last two years, new inventory has come. Inventory has grown by almost 8 to 9%, mm -hmm. whereas, whereas, whereas the business has not grown to that level. Right. But uh, we see now in by 2016 and 2017, uh, the demand will overstrip inventory. Interesting. On that note, let's take a break right here on Tea Time. We stay in conversation with Virendra Razdan and keep discussing the hospitality sector in much detail. Take a break. We'll see you on the other side. Thanks for staying with us on Tea Time and welcome back. We're still in conversation with Virendra Razdan of ITC Windsor Manor, Bangalore. Now, Virendra, let's discuss the fact that the hotel industry has faced a lot of problems in the past, whether it is funding issues, whether it is regulatory hurdles. Uh, there have been a lot of projects that have been stalled over the past couple of years as well, or incomplete, or they're lying incomplete for that matter. Um, how are you battling these issues in Bangalore? Luckily, I work for a company which is called ITC. So as such, we did not have any funding issues in opening right. our new hotels. But right. yes, what has happened that for the last few years, uh, some of uh, the business partners who were expecting funds to come from different mm. sources, those funds got plugged and uh, uh, rather got blocked and they could not complete some of their projects. Right. But now as uh, business seems to, business sentiment seems to be improving, so we foresee these projects getting completed sooner than later. All right. Uh, what about the Greenfield projects, Virender? Uh, what, what is the fate with them at the moment? I know ITC focuses a lot on that, but overall in the Bangalore hospitality market, do you see that trend uh, disappearing somewhere? Uh, I don't think this uh, uh, green initiative trends are going to disappear because that is part of your, as a uh, responsible corporate, you have to stick to certain guidelines where you are adding more value to the environment than taking certain uh, things from the environment. ITC Hotels uh, in India are th is the only company in the world where all our uh, hotels are LEED Platinum certified, which means uh, we are uh, zero waste, water pos positive and right. carbon positive hotels. Right. So all our future projects are also based on the LEED Platinum guidelines mm -hmm. and rest of the owners also who have to build hotels in the fe future will have to stick to these guidelines because otherwise the uh, Department of Tourism is not going to issue the completion certificate or give them any kind of five star rating in future because Department of Tourism has also uh, you know, developed guidelines for making most of the hotels, not most or rather all hotels as green hotels. Right. So they have to comply by certain basic norms of green initiatives. Now how important is consistent delivery at transparent price points right now in the industry as the consumers get a bit more discerning than what they used to be? If you see for the last 10-12 years uh, the whole game of hotelering has changed. You have to be transparent in your pricing because 
your consumer can see on one screen only what all different hotels are offering in the same city or in the vicinity of your hotel. Right. So that way your deliverables have to be, uh, if not better, but at par with the industry, uh, uh, commensurating the right price. What is the name of the game now as far as hospitality is concerned in a city like Bangalore right now? To be honest enough, the name of the game for hotels right from the beginning has been service, service, service. So consumer-led service, consumer -led with, service yeah, delivery really? Uh, consumer where, where you are tailor-making all your services as per the guest history. Now we oh, have really? gone to that level Can you give where, me an example of that? Like for ITC hotels, every guest who stays with us first time, we note his preferences and for all his future visits, whether he visits the same hotel or our other hotels in different cities, right. we have a system where his guest history flashes and everything is tailor-made in his room or in the restaurants Lovely. or in the spa to his requirements. So this is just at the Windsor Manor or is no, it throughout right, ITC? Right across. Right. Uh, Windsor Manor is part of uh, ITC hotels. Right. So these are the certain processes which we have, I would say, perfected in this industry to offer best to our guests. You know, like Starwood has introduced keyless check-ins. What is the new thing that you have done with technology at ITC right now? Uh, in all our new hotels, as you know that we have got the iPads in all our rooms. Right. Uh, and the best part about the iPad feature is that with the click of your A finger, button. Yeah. Uh, of button, uh, you, can, you can monitor almost 90% of the features in the room, right. including the room service waiter who is standing outside. Your door, you can see it on your uh, iPad, who is standing. Oh, really? Yeah. You don't need to get out of your bed and see who, who is, is there. there. The door? From the uh, click of the iPad, you can even open the door. Right. So that is the kind of technology we are talking about in the hotels, which are available with ITC hotels uh, these days. And how much of a pressure is social media creating on the hotel sector right now? I mean, consumers have become very proactive, whether it is Facebook or whether it is Twitter or any other social media marketing tool, they're using it to their absolute advantage to voice out their pet peeves as well today. Absolutely. I think you have said it correctly, you know. Till few years back, uh, how we used to get the consumer feedback is only by manual guest forms. feedback forms and uh, or the audits, which we used to have mystery audits. Now you are being audited every minute, every second. Uh, so many times what happens that at 12.30 in the night, I'm at home and someone tweets that he has been in the coffee shop and either he got a good service or he did not get a good service. And uh, what we have done is we have created systems and processes where you get an alert in the hotel there and then only and whosoever is the manager on duty goes and attends or ta either takes the compliment or, uh, you know, uh, attends to any kind of issues the guest has. But yes, uh, TripAdvisor or any kind of social media channels has put a lot of pressure, pressure right? on the service deliverables and you cannot go wrong. So well Sage, social media definitely creating a paradigm change in service delivery in the hospitality sector. We stay in conversation with Virendra Razdan. Take a break, we'll see you on the other side. Thank you for staying with us on Tea Time and welcome back. We're still discussing the hospitality sector with Virendra Razdan of ITC Windsor Manor of Bangalore. Now, do you think that luxury sector somewhere has an oversupply right now, whether it is Bangalore or whether it is Pan India, and it is the middle income segment, which is usually being ignored by most hospitality companies. Starwood recently made a statement that said half the humanity is uh, middle class and we are ignoring that part of uh, humanity at the moment by not catering to the mid-market segments. Uh, if you ask me, to be honest enough, there is focus in all segments. Um, at this point of time, no doubt there are a lot of branded luxury hotels which have come in metros. But in addition to that, uh, the companies have also invested in uh, mid-segment uh, hotels. That's how the lamentaries and the fortunes of the world have come but into picture. But is there a mismatch in terms of demand supply in the luxury top end of the spectrum? We see mismatch at this point of time because market has not been that buoyant for the last right. two three years right. due to which yes there has been a little bit of uh, not the same kind of offtake in the luxury segment uh, the rooms have not as been you would on, it to as be. we would have expected but as i said in the beginning the signs of revival are there and we foresee uh, that luxury segment uh, getting filled filled faster mm -hmm. sooner than later and uh, as you all know, we all Indians are brand conscious and we all aspire to 
stay and live and own great brands. So are we going to be seeing more frequent launches from ITC's umbrella as well in Bangalore or in other parts of the country as well? In Bangalore, we have few hotels on the drawing board. But yes, Pan India will be opening another month's time our uh, uh, ITC Bharat, Camp Bharat in Delhi which is on the golf course, 270 acre golf course, 27 hole golf oh, course. it's a yeah. golf course hotel. Yeah. golf it? course and one of the finest hotels and only hotel in the country. So that we will open uh, another month from now. Then we have got uh, hotels coming up both in Calcutta and Hyderabad, which right. will take another couple of years. So ITC is banking a uh, high, uh, high time on luxury segment. Interesting. And that too in the metro cities. Right. On that note, let's play a chip shot and we continue our conversation. So let's talk about the foreign direct investment in the hospitality and the tourism industry. Now, DIPP recently published a report that says over 6,000 million US dollars is the kind of inflow we saw of foreign direct investments in this country in the hospitality and the tourism sector. Now, how are you planning to capitalize on figures like these and what is the plan of action of improving traction on the back of these facts? One, it's a great news in case that kind of money gets materialized in the uh, right. Indian tourism sector because that will help us in building tourist uh, circuits of world-class standards right. and uh, that uh, naturally means that more inflow of international tourists, more dollars coming in, more money coming into the, uh, into the country. Uh, we welcome uh, such measures, but till now uh, we have not seen any kind of improvement at the ground level. Mm -hmm. uh, as and when it comes, uh, it's more than welcome uh, by the hotel uh, uh, hotel industry in the country. Uh, what about the mid-market segment? How much is India focusing right now on the mid-market segment? Are we doing enough for that particular catering to that particular bracket in tier one cities? Yes, in all cities, including tier one, tier two, tier three cities, because you know it's just like a pyramid and the mid-size uh, market lies at the bottom and the middle. Mm -hmm. That is where the real money lies. Right. So most of the companies, in spite of uh, they have their investments in the luxury hotels, are also focusing in the mid-size hotels in the country because that is what is going to be recession-proof in the future. Interesting. Now, does ITC have a uh, conspicuous golf culture really? I mean, I had Ranveer Bhandari of ITC Grand Chola who plays golf. You had ITC Windsor Manor, you play golf. Who are the other GMs that play golf and what kind Not of golfing? Not all of us, I can say the few you'll of have us. The, you'll have golf courses as well, so I'm guessing mm. that uh, the prerequisite of making it to ITC is that you have to be a golfer. No, not at all. I'm I don't joking. think that's true. But yes, few of us play uh, out of passion. Right. Uh, because uh, this keeps us, uh, uh, one, uh, a hotel job is uh, where you have to interact with a lot of people. and. Um, mm. Uh, the people who make this society high-end society and this game helps us in networking with that uh, segment of the society right that's one second uh, ITC as a group has been promoting golf uh, uh, I would say for the last three four decades and uh, uh, we also uh, sponsor one of the major tournaments in Calcutta which is called ITC Cup and it's uh, over a period of three days uh, which is played there now we have our own uh, Jack Nicholas designed course in Manasa right. and we have our uh, hotel also there. So in future we will be focusing in that direction more. Alright and what about uh, golfing and you? How much of golf do you really follow? Which are the players that you really look up to? Which ones do you really enjoy watching? To be honest enough, uh, it's very easy for me to say that I also follow Tiger Woods. Right. because he is the cult figure in the golfing sure. circle. Undoubtedly. But I personally like uh, Phil Mickelson, uh, the way he plays his golf in a very calm and composed manner and the way he has lived his life. Uh, so I will go more for him. 
Or Phil Mickelson or Phil Tiger Mickelson. Woods. And from India, who do you like? So this, you know, being calm is something that you give brownie points to, really. That's what I notice. Yeah, yeah. Uh, from India, I, I would say uh, Jeev. It goes without saying the, uh, the, the, way, the way he has performed all these years. Right. Uh, I follow him personally. I follow all his games. I right. must have collected, I do not know how many videos of his at right. home. Uh, Arjun Atwal mm -hmm. uh, these days. It looks like you really worship calm and you really worship composed composure as well. Is that how you are as a person? Is that what golf has given you? Golf has taught me certain lessons uh, and those lessons are that with success how you always take defeat also yeah. without losing your composure uh, and uh, start a day fresh. Right. Do not go by how many birdies and how many pars you had last day. Mm -hmm. uh, start the day fresh and uh, with new enthusiasm, with now pl a new plan, new strategies. So. That's so every day is new and you can't exactly. be banking on what exactly. happened yesterday or in your exactly. last game. Exactly. Defeat, defeat does not deter me achieving what all I am there to achieve in future. Very interesting and lovely thought for us to wind up on this note. Let's finish our game and we wind sure. up. Yeah. Where does the interest from golf really stem from with ITC Windsor Manor? How do you find golf a strategic fit to your marketing spend really? Because the hotel is right on the golf course. Which is, Windsor Manor is not on the golf course. Yes, on it the is, BGC. You on the we, we BGC have, yeah, is right at the back, but it's no, not a golfing property, all, isn't it? Oh, no, no, it's not a golfing property. But all our manor rooms are overlooking golf Overlooking course, the golf, golf course, course, really. Yeah. So, all right. So, we, what you have is you're capitalizing on the fact that <laughs> the Bangalore we, golf course is next right to next door as exactly. well. Exactly. Any plans of coming up with a full-fledged golfing resort in Bangalore itself, like the way you are planning in Delhi? Not at this point of time. All right. Okay. On that note, thank you so much for joining me on the thank show you, today. Chaiti. It was lovely thank talking you to you on the show. To have you here on this course. Thanks for taking time out, Jamie. Really. On that, it's a wrap from me, Chaiti Narula and Virinder Razdan of ITC Windsor Manor in Bangalore as well. I will see you next week again with another interesting guest. See you same time, same place. Until then, enjoy the flight of a good drive.